and welcome to A Figures Collectors and today we're going to be doing uh, another review. We're going to be doing a review of LeBron James uh, 1 6 scale Enter Bay figure and um, he um, here uh, it comes with a heat uh, uniform. Um, he has since uh, come back to his hometown team to the Cleveland Cavaliers and so we have a little bit of customization that I want to show as well but as always I want to do just a little bit of a background on LeBron James and so you kind of understand his um, background he came straight out of um, high school he grew up in the Ohio area and let me just kind of give you some of his uh, um, highlights of, of his career um, he was uh, USA Today, um, all USA first team 2001, 2, and 3. Uh, he uh, three times made Mr. Ohio's basketball, Ohio's Mr. Basketball, excuse me, 2001 through 3. And uh, he also, before entering the NBA, was a uh, two time Gatorade National Player of the Year three-time state championship in high school and uh, the northern champagne champion as well uh, never with college so there wasn't much there for for that uh, as for basketball he was uh, six-time NBA Eastern Conference rookie of the, mo of the month uh, he had 48 time NBA 40 times he was the NBA Eastern Conference player of the week 29 times he was the NBA Eastern Conference Player of the Month. He was NBA's All-Rookie First Team. Uh, he was a six-time NBA All-Defensive Team. Uh, six, five out of six he was um, the uh, first team and one he was the uh, second team. He was a 11-time All-NBA Team. And uh, 9 out of 11, he was the first. Um, he was 11-time uh, NBA All-Star. And uh, played pretty well. He's had some MVPs in that as well. I believe he had two All-Star game MVPs. Uh, he was the NBA scoring champion in 2008. He uh, was Rookie of the Year. He was a, a four-time NBA MVP two-time NBA Finals MVP and two times he won the NBA championship um, 2012 and 13 he's been a total of uh, six I believe and he has got a two and four record he uh, lost his first time to San Antonio and then he lost second time against Dallas then he won um, against Oklahoma and uh, after that, um, he beat San Antonio, and then he lost to San Antonio. And then um, he also just lost this last year as he reunited with Cleveland uh, to Golden State Warriors. He is right now considered, uh, and he is himself just recently said, I'm the best basketball player in the NBA. And so he... Uh, does think uh, quite highly of himself. I kind of want to just get a few of his statistics here and kind of give you a, a perspective of Mike of uh, him versus Michael Jordan. And uh, and uh, if you want to go to my Michael Jordan page uh, or review, you can see I went through his scoring and breakdown. But you can look it up on the internet. But um, just to give an idea, his rookie year, LeBron. Uh, only averaged uh, 20 points, where I think Jordan was at 28 points. Uh, second year, though, he did make a jump where Michael went down to 22. Uh, he went up to 27. Now, his third year, uh, as well as Jordan, Jordan's third year, he averaged 37 points. LeBron did average 31 points a game and uh, a little bit higher uh, average when it comes to assists as well as uh, rebounds and so sometimes I think LeBron would rather have like a Magic Johnson role like a like more of a point guard role set up the offense or kind of like um, Scottie Pippen did and um, 
and facilitate more, and I think he's really enjoying that. I, I'm kind of curious, what would have happened in this year's finals that he went back to Cleveland if Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love had been healthy? I think they might have beat the Warriors because with a lot of second-rate players, LeBron almost single-handedly, you know, made it a good series, but uh, Golden State just had too much firepower uh, for one guy to uh, handle. But anyways, it was a pretty exciting finals as a whole, but it just, they couldn't uh, keep up with them. And I do think that there was some good coaching in there on both sides. And ultimately, Steve Kerr got the upper hand, and uh, um, Cleveland couldn't keep up, so... Such is. But anyways, let me just kind of go through some of those numbers there. So his first year he averaged 20 points. Second year he was 27. Third year he went up to 31. Fourth year he went back down to 27. His fifth year he averaged 30 points a game. And um, he hasn't done since then. So only, he really has only been in the uh, average over 30 points twice in his career. Um, which, when you think about it, it's really not that great uh, for uh, points there. I would expect a little bit more out of um, LeBron scoring, and that's why, um, you know, the comparisons of Michael Jordan, I just don't see. Um, but he does have a pretty, I mean, he's got a good scoring average for a career, 27.3, 7.1 uh, assists. And, uh, or excuse me, 7.1 rebounds for a career average and just about seven assists, uh, per game for a career. So he, uh, he has done quite well. Um, in fact, probably his 2009 10 statistically, his last year with Cleveland was probably his most exciting. He averaged 29.7 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 8.6. Assist. So he was really then kind of on fire, kind of um, really doing everything well. And um, I think he gets a lot of uh, uh, heat where he doesn't need to, pardon the pun, that he played for the Heat. But I also think that uh, he has a lot more accolades than maybe he might deserve just as of yet. And people, um, people we forget history quite a bit. And uh, I just was listening how Michael Jordan dominated his, uh, during his NBA career, where now we say, well, look at uh, LeBron, they have Kevin Durant, and he's one of my favorites anyways, but we have tons of other real good players. The competition today is much difficult than it was back then. And uh, we just say Jordan dominated, but you had to kind of, you know, that's your bad student of history, because really when Michael Jordan played, uh, yeah, he was the best player, and I think people today would even say LeBron is, but uh, he had a lot of good rivals, uh, whether it be Clyde Drexler, whether it be Dominique Wilkins, Matthew Johnson, Larry Bird, even Penny Hardaway when he started gave, gave Jordan some headaches um, as well. And so there were decent players out there that really made Jordan play hard and really kind of came on him and uh, made things difficult for him. And so he, you know, he didn't just slide to the NBA, and I think a lot of people think that about Michael Jordan. That's why he was so great, and LeBron has much more difficult talent. I don't, he plays against where I think that uh, there is good talent now. I just don't think he is the uh, greatest. So just for background and, and stuff like that for LeBron, um, well, I think he'll be, you know, in the discussion of some of the top players. I don't think that he'll ever be in the class of a Michael Jordan. He'd have to win, you know, six finals and have one more finals win than Michael. Because Michael, one thing to Michael's credit is uh, he's won every finals he's been to. And when LeBron is 2-4, and four, Michael was 6-0. and all. And take it for what it's worth that doesn't define you as a, a player as a whole but it does say this that Jordan does have a better finals record and in the annals of time people will look towards that and uh, winning 100% of time is a lot better than uh, only winning uh, two out of four so or two out of six so um, but doesn't diminish who LeBron James is I think this last finals that he had against uh, 
Golden State was probably his best he ever played. Even though it was a losing effort, he really, I mean, he was impressive. And he just kind of wore down, and he couldn't keep up with them. And um, because he was trying to do a little bit of everything, whether it be scoring and his passing and rebounds and things like that. And, and LeBron's on the 30 side now. He's hitting, you know, he's, I think he just hit 30 this year. So he's not, uh, you know, he doesn't have quite the juice that he had. I don't think he's lost a whole lot, but eh, he doesn't really. You know, I've seen it where before he'd just go hammer the ball down, where now he's, you know, he'll take it easy when he's got, a, you know, a, just a straight uh, run to the hoop. So he's not like he was where he's just going to go in there and bam, you know. He's more like bam, and he'll walk away. But anyways, uh, enough of the background material. I'd give it a 5 out of 5. It is what it is. He is one of the greatest players. And um, it's interesting as uh, we get to the next part. Here's the box. Just typical box. As I've shown all the other ones, it uh, comes with extra hands. Uh, this LeBron figure and actually has um, two heads and... Um, you know, and some have the likeness of him. But I would just bring this all together before we really get into this, is that he went from Cleveland to Miami back to Cleveland. So as you look at the story and consider the figure, you give, I have to give it a 4 out of 5 just because um, they keep producing this figure. Uh, you can actually get them really inexpensive. I can, uh, if you want to hit me up, there's two places I know you can get them for 170 or less brand new which I got mine for 140 brand new um, from Big Bad Toys or maybe it's 149 yeah excuse me 149 of Big Bad Toys and for one six scale figures and uh, Entropy it's pretty uh, well worth the cost and the savings but I uh, checked into it as far as plans are now there are no plans to update him and so there's a guy that uh, I found, you can look, you can find him on a lot of forums, but uh, I believe his name is Talon or Thalen uh, Matias, and um, I met him through the uh, um, the review guy, the review king, or the Clipper king, and he gave me a recommendation over to him, and this guy made a beautiful. Now I didn't realize this. My son actually helped me pick it out. Uh, before the finals, we picked out this jersey, and it came the week of the finals. And so I got to use the uh, actual jersey that he wore uh, at home um, for that finals. And so um, I also I got to put that on. Now, he comes with uh, typical Miami Heat, nice jersey, uh, number six, uh, pants and everything like that. Um, his look is not totally brand new. His look uh, on his face, and we'll get into head sculpts in a second, uh, probably here a couple of years ago. Um, but the figure um, itself, as we should compare it to the box, it's a typical box, so I would just give it a 4 out of 5. Nothing exciting, but there's nothing damning for, for it. It just it, it is what it is. So let's get to the figure's head sculpt. And... Um, and before that, let's take a break. 